the e-rev and the electric version of this car both of them seriously seriously impressive 1000 volt uh, architecture uh, a hybrid sodium lithium battery i mean this thing is next gen and it's going to come to a lot of different markets from what i've been hearing New electric car here and an e-rev. Leap Motor Vehicles are sold in, I believe, more than 40 countries. They have a joint venture partnership with Stellantis. It's very much a global car brand. Their new e-rev, it has a 80 kilowatt hour battery. This is the largest battery in a hybrid in the world. Very small petrol engine as well. But there's also an electric version of the same car. And when you look at the details of the electric version, you kind of think to yourself, would you really need a hybrid? Well, you're yeah, probably not. But anyway, here are the details because I thought, hey, the biggest battery in the world, quite interesting, isn't it? When you think of these kind of newer e-revs, how different they are to some of the current generation hybrids on the market, which have these tiny batteries and really small ranges. Leap Motor unveiled the interior of its D19 and the D19 is expected to be priced, starting price of around 35,000 US dollars. The D19 has a massive 60 inch high brightness all weather AR heads up display. It's got a 10.25 inch LCD instrument cluster, a huge 17.3 inch floating central control screen. I think this might be the biggest screen in a car. 17 inches is massive, but it's, it's not narrow, uh, but it is a bit narrower than some other screens. So it's just very, very wide, I guess you could say. Now, in addition to that, rear passengers get a six inch multifunction control screen, kind of like what you get in the backseat in a Tesla, and they get a 21.4 inch 3K electric entertainment display. I think I'd want to be in the back seat in, in this car. Now, I'm not sure if this car is coming to Australia or other car markets where you're based, where from, from wherever you're watching from, but there is a fair few options for this vehicle, aside from the fact that it's EV and E-Rev. There's a five seat version, a six seat version, and a seven seat version. Uh, the second row zero gravity seats support a 120 degree zero pressure recline. So those zero gravity seats are just awesome. I don't know if you've used them before, but they're really cool. Not just Leap Motor that has them, lots of brands do. There is four-way leg rest and integrated ABTS seatbelts. Additionally, uh, there's an onboard oxygen generator. Oxygen generator. That's pretty cool. Get high on oxygen. Um, there's B-pillar uh, grab handles. There is dual folding tables for the second row. There is an 8.1 liter all electric automotive grade fridge, which can hold nine 400 ml bottles of water. It can either freeze that water at minus six degrees Celsius, but it can go all the way up to 50 degrees Celsius. So it can heat stuff for you as well, kind of like a microwave. There is um, laminated acoustic glass for enhanced quietness as well. This, is, this car is super super nice dimensions it's a big car 5.2 meters long so it's about the size of a toyota land cruiser not the land cruiser you guys have in the us the proper land cruiser that the rest of the world gets which is bigger when i say proper i don't like them but they're you know anyway it's about two meters wide as well so yeah, it's a big car now there is two powertrain options the range extender version or the e-rev it has an 80.3 kilowatt hour battery providing a range of 500 kilometers it has an 800 volt platform, can charge from 30 to 80% in 15 minutes, and the maximum power output for this version is 400 kilowatt. In other words, guys, 400 kilowatt, 536 horsepower, plenty of power for the E-Rev. But interesting to me, you can recharge this battery, an 80 kilowatt hour battery in a hybrid, faster than you can recharge the battery in your BYD Shark. And the Shark's battery is, what, 36 kilowatt hours? kind of goes to my point of saying the current generation of FEVs that we're buying in the Western world from all manufacturers, Mitsubishi, BYD, various brands, they're already outdated. They're like two generations old. So I keep saying to people, just wait a little bit. Just be, you know, if, if you have to buy it today, totally get it. But if you don't, wait, because there's vehicles like this coming. There's lots of them coming. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so, and I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. The pure electric version is way better though, and that's the one I'd be buying. In fact, this is a car I would consider, absolutely. It has a 1,000 volt platform, triple motors, 
Now, 540 kilowatts, 724 horsepower, zero to 100 in the three second range. For a car this big, that is ridiculously fast, kind of scary. And it comes with a 115 kilowatt hour CATL hybrid cell battery. In other words, that battery is a combination of sodium ion cells and lithium ion phosphate cells. So it's very interesting. Gives it better performance in cold and hot temperatures. Powering it, uh, that battery, the 115 kilowatt hour battery, gives it 720 kilometers of range, which is about 600 kilometers of WLTP range. Thanks to the 1000 volt platform, the EV can charge or can add 350 kilometers of range to the battery in 15 minutes. I'm going to guess the EV's charging is probably about 450 kilowatt uh, based on those numbers. So you can see why you don't need the E-Rev. You don't need to carry around that little generator engine. Just get the EV version. 600 kilometers of range is absolutely more than enough. Even if you're in a place like Australia where you know the cities are long distances apart, it's still plenty of range. I'm a big fan of this car, guys. That's the reason for the video. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery, or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.